Hello everyone all around the world. I'm Jeff Teague. This is Auto Jeff Reviews. Thanks for hitting subscribe. Let me show you the coolest gadgets, features, technology in 2023 Sequoia Capstone. Capstone is the most luxurious, most technology filled, most feature filled trim level of 23 Sequoia. You can get SR5 Limited, Platinum, TRD Pro is definitely off-roading, and then you can get Capstone. You'll see a lot of luxury features, a lot of chrome. Things are supersized in Capstone. So your job is to tell me what you think as we go along. First one I'll give you before we get into some specs, sequential turn signals. Sequential signals can be found on higher trim levels. The top of the food chain, the cream of the crop, they rise to the top. You can see them in the back part with the tail lights. You can see them in the front. So yeah, not only do they look cool, but they also have a way of letting people know just because they're different that you're turning so they know what you're going to do. It's safer. The next cool feature is gonna be the interior itself. It's black and white and black and white and black and white with the little natural wood in between. But look how open and spacious this makes it. This is black and white semi-aniline leather. It's extremely soft, feels fantastic, feels great actually, and it gives it a look that's unrivaled in the car industry. I think. What SUVs do you know that might have a more unique, a better prestigious interior? Yeah, of course there are going to be some choices, but this is the one I'm thinking of. So you tell me yours. And then we've got matching back here as well. Let's talk buttons here. We've got one on the side of the third row, one on the other side of the third row. We can recline our seat back. Just using this gives us a little bit more headroom space. We've also got levers down here underneath the seats so I can go forward six inches or back six inches so that can give me more leg room, which everybody's trying to get in the third row, right? Or it can free up more cargo space. And speaking of cargo space, well, we can get cargo room by popping that glass, putting things in here. We can shut it, make sure it's secure. And then I can also open up the back hatch like that. Is that a mic drop? Not quite, because we got more to show. Everybody in an SUV and in a truck, they want more cargo space. I totally get that. We can adjust our seats forward and backward like this. They go six inches forward, six inches back. You can do them three or four inches. So you can kind of mix it up based on what people in your crew want to do. Do they want to sit down? Do they want to move stuff along, transport it? Cargo space, right? So you can put shelves here, you could put shelves here. I like that idea. That's very cool. And then also I can, well, the other thing I can do with these two buttons as well, I can put the seats down. And watch what's gonna happen here since I've got this at that middle setting. Now we've made a nice tabletop surface that you can use for more creative storage. I can move those forward and backward. I can also move this down all the way, however I wanna do it. We can make a flat surface just like this. Let's talk about accommodations in the third row. We've got 400 watt plug-in right here along with lighting. I see a USB in there. Do you guys see that? Boom, boom. So people in the third row have got access to that. We can also go ahead and look at that sunshade that pops up right there. We've got temperature controls and lights all the way around. How's it look? We gotta do more gadgets, right? Let's change this to a traditional rear view mirror. Let's change it to the rear digital camera. That's very cool. So we can make adjustments, brightness, change the orientation because there's a camera behind and that's gonna show us crystal clear all the way around us. We won't have the second and third row passengers heads in the way that you might see with this. We won't have luggage that's been stacked up there on family road trips getting in the way. What about that? The other one's gonna be kinda of hard to see, but this is the head-up display, and it shows, where is it? Right there, we've got the projection screen right down there, and that's gonna project right here so we can see the speed limit, the compass, you can do radio stations, calls, 
all that stuff. And I can see I'm going zero right now. This one's gonna be definitely a visual display. We've got hydraulic lifts here, I like this, but it's the iForce Max, this new powertrain, this new engine. This is big for 2023. We see it on 22 Tundra already, and it's a way to give us more power. A little bit better efficiency too, so that's kind of cool. This one, remember, was a 3.5 liter V6 engine. Before Sequoia owners were driving around with 5.7 liter V8 engines, that was 381 horsepower and it was 401 pound-feet of torque. Now we've got 583 pound-feet of torque to go with 437 horsepower. So there's a huge, huge, big bump up in power and speed and a little bit better gas mileage as well. So that's a big bonus for Sequoia folks. What do you guys think about that? Now, what do we do if our backup camera is dirty and we just cannot see anything? What are we gonna do there? Well, we can also use our backup camera washer. That's a cool way to keep everything clean, everything nice, and it's still staying crystal clear. So you can go on those dirt roads and muddy trails and things like that. This next one, even Snoop Dogg would think would be very cool. We could do a little mashup. Snoop Doggy Dog. Don't change the dizzle, turn it up a little. I got a dining room full of fine dime bristles. The next one, what can people in the second row see? Well, they've got sunshade, that's a cool gadget. Just pop up there, go, go gadget, sunshade. That's cool. Remember Inspector Gadget? Da -da 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 -da. Inspector Gadget. Lots of space, lots of little nooks and crannies. You can do pockets here. And then we've got heated and cooled seats right there, boom! Along with USB-A, USB-C, we've got AC power. Very, very cool. And then we can also tumble those forward if you want to get to the back seat, it also opens up more cargo. And anybody with hip problems, knee problems, back problems, you can use this handle to get right up in here. Look at my leg room, this is very cool. I also like this little handle, even on the driver's side. Nice. Look at me, I'm a panoramic roof. I can give light to people in the back seat, in the front seat. Goes all the way back. How far can I open? Let's find out. Is that it? Nope, push it one more time and it goes all the way to the second row, nice. The benefits of the panoramic roof are obvious. Whether it's me standing at five foot eight inches, a Sasquatch or a fully matured giraffe, we can all look around, observe our kingdom and get ready to party. Woo hoo hoo hoo, woo. Next one, look how crystal clear our giant 14 inch screen is. This is huge, because I can put it in reverse and then we're gonna be able to see we've got rear cross traffic braking, we've got parking sensors, so you can see in front of, behind, all that jazz. You can change up your grid lines, get rid of them, change them up how you want them, and then I can put it in drive and well, we could look at the front camera and that'll stay on actually if you put on auto up to about six or seven miles per hour. So just imagine the places you could take it. Maybe the trails? We've got trailer backup guide. We've got tow haul. We've got drive modes. You've got trailer brake. So let's do the drive modes then. Okay, we've got sport, normal, and eco. So you can change it based on whether you want gas mileage that's better acceleration that's better, or just normal driving situations. And look at this, fully digital, 12.3 inch, that's pretty cool. Another little tip, if you hold down, push right side, customize right side, what do you wanna look at on the right side of that screen? Do you wanna see the boost gauges, pitch and roll meter? Again, that'll help you out in the trails, you have to keep holding that down. What about tow gauges? Maybe that's gonna be what you're going for. Or maybe you just don't wanna see anything. Now that's not me, I like having the boost gauges. That's most valuable to me. There are so many different functions and capabilities with this new Toyota Audio Multimedia system. But for me, I can just do a couple until I get this registered and set up. But for right now, hey Toyota, what is my driving range? Your cruising range is 80 miles. Okay, let's change the channel. Hey Toyota, tune to Sirius XM. Hey Toyota, tune to Sirius XM channel nine. 90's on nine. 
tuning to Sirius XM channel nine. Nice, we did it. Some other functions I think you might appreciate having. Memory seats, of course, we've got power mirrors. I like having that one. I also love having the power steering wheel and it works pretty darn quick, actually. So we got that, that's nice. We also have, along with the power seat, we've got thigh extender. Try the new thigh extender for $19.95, not sold in any stores. And if you buy now, we'll give you a free Ginsu Nice. Driver and passenger will also have blue for ventilated seats, red for heated seats, got everything. There's also a dash cam that's in this particular one. That doesn't come standard on Sequoia or Sequoia Capstone, but you can get it as an option as we saw on this one. Let's see what the window sticker can tell us. Number one, boom, made in San Antonio, Texas, along with Tundra, wind chill pearl with black interior, but that's also the black and white semi-aniline leather. Just absolutely gorgeous. Here's the fuel mileage you can expect. Up to 22 on the highway, 20 combined. See if we can show you some specs. You can just stop the video if you want to learn a little bit more. Mmm, beautiful. So many features, so much safety. Big improvement versus the previous generation, I'll tell you that much for sure. 78300, add in the special color, as a lot of manufacturers do with their premium paint charges. Here we go. This one has some extra options on it from the regional assembly port to kind of finish it off. Years might have more, less, or none. All right, this is at Fred Anderson Toyota. There's the price. Thanks for watching, everybody. What do you think of Toyota Sequoia? Which trim level would you choose of Sequoia? And is there a better SUV out on the market right now than Toyota Sequoia? Leave your comments, thoughts, opinions. I appreciate you all. And then please follow me. I'd really appreciate that on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Whichever platforms you choose, click, click, click. Thanks, everybody. Woo, Sequoia.